Welcome once again, grade 11s. We are continuing with our question 5.1, the cash budget. Remember 5.1.1, we've already covered it. We've already prepared the data collection schedule for November and December. And we already know the money for the collections from data which we are supposed to record in our cash budget. Learners, please do not forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Okay, fine. Uh, hit the notification button. If ever you've got anything that you'd want to say or you'd want to comment, please do not hesitate to go to the comment section. And also, please like the videos. Like the videos that I'm sending you. Like the videos that we always make all the time. Okay, thank you. All right, right now, okay, we are now on 5.1.2. Complete the cash budget for two months ending 31 December 2020. Okay, uh, this question has got an answer template. Okay, you can see that for this template, other amounts are already there. We are simply going to be calculating the other amounts that are fees that are mixed that are missing. Okay, all right. Uh, we have, this is also the structure for you guys who do not know the structure of the cash budget. Okay, the cash budget is made up of receipts and payments. Remember again in the cash budget, if you are always following the videos, we do not record anything which is a non-cash item. And I even explain to you which items do we consider to be non-cash items. Okay. All right. Let's start our question. Okay. According to the answer book that we have. Okay. We start with the cash sales. Okay. The cash sales for November are already given. Remember, if you look at B, we are given total sales. They say that the these are total sales. And then on part C, they said credit sales comprise 40% of the total sales. Okay. So if 40% is credit, it means 60% of all these sales is cash. Okay. So our budget period is only November and December. So we are only interested in the sales for November and December. Okay. So we are going to calculate 60%. 60% of November has already been calculated. 60% of 468. Okay. So it's 60% of 468. 60% of 468. Okay. Uh, cash sales, I'll just indicate uh, 468,000 times 60%. Okay, it will give us something like, let me go to my calculator, 280,800. 280, okay, we are done with the cash sales. The collection from data, we did them in 5.1.1. Okay. In the data's collection schedule, revisit it if you would want to see these amounts, how we actually calculated them. And then the interest on fixed deposit. Okay, let's look at the information that we are given uh, from A up to M. Where do we have the fixed deposit? It's H. It's here on H. The interest on fixed deposit is received quarterly. Okay, the interest for the last quarter of 2018 is due on 31 December 2020. Okay, so it means we are only going to record in December because they said it is received quarterly. So I think the, the last quarter, the money for the last quarter is supposed to be received in December. Okay, so first of all, we need to calculate the, the interest for the whole year and then after that we find out how much is it per quarter. Okay, information A, balances. Fixed deposit is 66.5% uh, uh, per annum. That is the interest. And then the fixed deposit is 80,000. Okay, I hope this space will allow me to do the calculation. It's a simple calculation. Okay, we simply say 80,000. Okay, 80,000, the fixed deposit, multiply by 6.5%. Uh, okay, I can say 6.5 over 100. Okay, and then the answer that we get. We divide by 4. Okay, why? Because they said it is received quarterly. Okay, quarterly, it means uh, after every three months. And it means it's four times in a year. Okay, so we divide by 4 so that we can get the amount which is supposed to be received in the last quarter. So when you do this calculation, you are going to get 1,300. It is the money that is supposed to be received in December in the last quarter. Okay, we are done with the interest. Okay, let's move on to the rent income. We are already given the rent income for uh, November. Okay, let's see if there's any adjustment. Okay, M, part of the buildings are rented out at a monthly rent of 5,000, is it? There is no change, is it? 
so we are simply going to record again how much five thousand five thousand here okay all right it seems as if we are done with everything that appears under the receipts so the next thing is for us to calculate the total the total for november and the total for december let's go to our calculators okay and find out november okay if i calculate in november total receipts for november is 391,496 391,496 the totals for december are also 445 445 644 so these are our total receipts this is the first part of the budgets okay fine next thing the next thing is our payments okay the next section of the cash budget is the payment section